For all your pastry, bakery, quality food, CK restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European and even Exercise book printing machine here on Kerfatu. The printing machine is being launched and it's going to be presided over by the President of the Republic of the Gambia. Uh, it is being launched by an institution called Gambia Publishing and Printing Corporation, that's GPPC. The launch is being done at the University of the Gambia campus at MDI Complex. I am Mustafa Sise on Kerfatu. So join us live. The president is being ushered in at the moment. As you could see, his motorcade is being driven in at a slow rate into the university campus on the MDI road. And it's been sort of, as usual, got a sort of blocked by media, the journalists, photojournalists, cameramen trying to take him. That's the president driving in. Yes, and then a lot of people here are gathered, including cabinet ministers along the line. That's it. Those dressed in gown are the staff of GPPC. The president has taken a brief stop, and the media is taking shot of the moment there. That's them coming. And we have the police band here, as usual, trying to come on. That's uh, the senior man, Aruna Drave, of <laughs> Paradise Media. Yes, so that's the president. Yes. And, uh, and that's a very good Listen, touch your president, but we are missing now. Touch your leg, Kawai. Touch your leg, Kawai. Olai, touch your leg, president, but we are missing now. Why? Why you don't know what got you under the mask? Why touch your leg, Kawai? We are missing now. Touch your leg, Olai. Got you under the mask, president, but we are missing now. Good morning. Good morning, CSP Sonko and the Gambia Police Band, the National Anthem, please. Please be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you, CSP Sonko and the Gambia Police Band. May we commence today's ceremonies with prayers by a representative of the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim maliki yawm ad-din. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihidna sirat al-mustaqim. Ihidna sirat al-mustaqim. Ihidna sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim. Ghayri lima ghudubi alayhim wala ad-dallin. Allahumma ijal dawlata gambia dawlata sakha'in wa rakha'a. Wa sa'ira bilad al-muslimin. اللهم اجعل دولة غامبيا دولة السخاء والرخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم احفظ رئيسنا اللهم احفظ رئيسنا وعوانه اللهم احفظ رئيسنا آدم بارو وعوانه برحمتك يا رب العالمين برحمتك يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمع مرحومة وتفرقنا بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تدع فينا ولا حوالينا شقيا ولا محروما برحمتك يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم انشر العلم في غامبيا اللهم انشر العلم في جامعة غامبيا وغيره من المؤسسات التعليمية بمنك وكرمك يا الله برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وسبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Amin ya Imam. May we continue in prayer by a representative of the Christian community in the Gambia? The Honorable James Gomez. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love, the love you have for Gambia has once again made you enable us to inaugurate another development project that will increase the capacity of our printing department. We thank you, Lord, for the love you have for the Gambia. We continue to ask that you give us your peace, that we will live to love you and to serve one another. You have said to us the greatest commandment is that you love yourself and you love your neighbor. This is the stand of our government, and we ask that we continue, all of us in this country, to love our country and to love ourselves. And this inauguration will be a successful inauguration. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Adam Abaro, members of the diplomatic community here present, cabinet members, director generals, governors, mayors, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this special occasion, special in many ways, that priority amongst many, but more importantly is education, that this president and this current government has made priority. We are here today to inaugurate yet another project that builds on the capacity of our education sector in particular in printing books, textbooks, magazines, newspapers, and very important documents for functioning of the state. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why we are here today. <laughs> to commence the ceremonies proper, it's my honor to invite Kausu Dabo, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. Mr. Dabo, please. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Honorable Ministers of State here present, members of the Diplomatic Corps and Consular Corps present, 
members of the National Assembly here present, venerable religious leaders here present, senior government officials here present, the board, management and staff of the GPPC, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with a deep sense of honor and a privilege that I welcome you all to the inauguration of our exercise book printing machine, uh, which we acquired, installed, and are uh, now uh, ready for production. It will be recalled that the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation, GPPC, was established in 2004 by an act of parliament, which merges the then national printing and the stationary cooperation and the book, print, book production and material resource unit of the Ministry of Education. The rationale behind the merger is to create an efficient, effective, and sustainable institution which will help the government in its drive to ensure the security and integrity of its revenue generating materials and to enhance mobilization of the much needed uh, resources for national development. His Excellency, key among the objectives of GBPC as outlined in the Act are the following. One, to print and publish on a commercial basis documents for on behalf of the government, public enterprises, private corporations, and any other person. And that to print, distribute, and market books and reading materials for schools, institutions of high learning, and the general public. It is in pursuance of these objectives that the cooperation, through its strategic plan, embarked on the project of acquiring this machine. Indeed, it has been a tremendous challenge, but thanks to the invaluable support of your government, through the Ministry of Information and Communication Infrastructure, we are here today to celebrate this milestone achievement in the life of the cooperation. I therefore, on behalf of the Board of Directors, Management, and my humble self, wish to thank you, His Excellency, and your able team for your continuous support and guidance. We would like to use this opportunity to assure you, His Excellency, of our resolve and determination towards the attainment of the noble goals and objectives set out for the cooperation. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Dabo. That was the, the, the uh, chair the of next the GPPC Board of Directors. It's also from GPPC. GPPC, which is printing. Um, now, in ceremonies of back this to the nature, podium is the MC. I try to put up a formal face. But whenever the CSIS are concerned, and wherever they are concerned, I have special privilege to knock a few knocks on their heads. But today, given the presence of the president, uh, Mr. Sise, you are spared. The next speaker is the Managing Director of the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation, Mr. Momodu Sise. At the podium now is the Managing Director of GPPC, that's Mr. Momodu Sise. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, the Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Cabinet Secretary, Honorable National Assembly Members present, Permanent Secretaries, Managing Directors and Director Generals, Venerable Religious Leaders, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, and all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Your Excellency, sir, as we integrate this state-of-the-art machine, which has never been seen in this country and this subregion, it is indeed a great honor and pleasure for me to deliver this keynote address on behalf of the board, management, and staff of the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. The installation of this trailblazer machine is a clear indication of the corporation's resolve to meet the dire needs of the country's thinning population regarding the acquisition of exercise books in our schools 
and the wider public. This is by every standard a remarkable achievement accredited not only to GBPC, but the country as a whole. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Biliomatic P590 machine, which is about to be integrated, has the capacity of producing 18,500 exercise books per hour on, F, on four ops and 22,000 exercise books per hour on five ops maximum. Thus, it goes to confirm that with the fullest support, this machine is capable of meeting the entire nation's demand of exercise books, while at the same time export the surplus to the immediate sub-regional markets. This tremendous achievement is not only expected to turn around the corporation's production capacity and therefore its revenue base, but also to put the Gambia on the map of exporting countries in the area of exercise books. Your Excellency, the President, apart from the printing of exercise books, this wonderful machine also has a facility to sheet papers into reams ranging from A1, A2, A3 to A4 papers. This is also a very significant milestone in the annals of the corporation history as we shift from being a buyer and importer of papers to a seller and exporter of papers. Your Excellency the President, Honorable Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen present, the corporation is pretty confident that the installation of this machine will boost the revenue base of the corporation and also meet the government's stationary requirement in the acquisition of cheaper stationery. However, I must admit that the support for, from all key stakeholders in this endeavor is highly anticipated. I am humbly elated to inform all here present that this landmark achievement is the brainchild of a collective responsibility with most gratitude going to you and your cabinet for the support rendered to the corporation. It could be recalled that following a presentation of a cabinet paper by the Honorable Minister of Information and Communication Infrastructure, Mr. Ibrahim Sila, in 2018, on behalf of the corporation, an exclusive cabinet directive was reached, giving the corporation the sole mandate for the printing of all government revenue materials. This cabinet support has been a significant boost for the corporations and has ever since remained a contributing factor for the successes registered by the, by the national printer. Without an iota of doubt, we will ever remain grateful for this support. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, it is also worth mentioning the relentless commitment of the GBBC Board of Directors, past and present, for their foresight, continuous guidance, and support to the management. Failure to acknowledge the resilience and the unflinching un support and commitment of the management and staff of the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation will render this speech incomplete. I therefore salute you all for your commitment and fortitude, most especially during odd hours. Thank you so very much. Your Excellency the President and Honorable Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the inauguration of these machines today it's just the beginning of the aspirations of the corporations in a bid to fulfilling its mandate as stipulated in the GPPC Act. This act is geared towards providing support to the education sector in the printing and teaching of learning materials, as well as the general provision of securities in the government revenue mobilization process. These two functions had and will ever remain key in our operations among a host of others. However, we are fully cognizant that these functions cannot be fully and effectively implemented without the full support of key stakeholders, including ministries, prastitals, and agencies. At this juncture, we want to remind all stakeholders that compliance with both the GPPC Act and the executive directives aimed at supporting the corporation in the fulfillment of its objectives, and the fulfillment of its objectives in a sustainable way is not only a civic responsibility, but a sine qua non. Hence, 
our appeal for continuous support and collaboration from all and sundry. Your Excellency, sir, finally, I would, on behalf of board, management, and staff of the GPPC, like to extend sincere and heartfelt appreciations to Your Excellency, the President, and senior government officials here present for your time in gracing this historic and auspicious occasion with us by way of inaugurating this state-of-the-art machine. In the same manner, with similar thank and similar thank and gratitude is extended to all our guests here present, as well as other people, most notably the media fraternity for the coverage. I thank you all very much for your kind attention. That was Mumodu Sise, the Director General of GPPC, on his keynote address there. He has uh, stated the capacity of the machine, that's the, the biomatic P5 exercise book printing machine has the capacity to print ups 5, 22,000 books and ups for 18,000 books. He said the achievement is going to boost the revenue generation of his institution and he also urged institutions and government institutions to contact his GPPC for printing as per the GPPC Act and the government directive. So That's now the thank MC thank you for at the podium. Beyond what the managing director had said, the GPPC also has every document that has been gazetted in the history of the Gambia. So for persons who may be interested, GPPC would have them available. All constitutions of the Gambia also are available at the GPPC. But also to say, we are today inaugurating the exercise book printing machines. But beyond that, they have the capacity of printing magazines, uh, newspapers, and other important receipts for government departments and corporations in the private sector. The next speaker is my brother and my boss, the chief journalist of the Gambia, the Minister for Communications Infrastructure, Mr. Ibrahim Silla. Next to speak is the Minister of Information, Ibrahim Silla, himself a journalist. Ibrahim is now at the podium. Thank you, Chairman. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Adam Abaro, my colleagues, Cabinet Ministers, the Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, the Deputy Secretary General, Permanent Secretaries, Director Generals and Managing Directors of Parastatals and other heads of government institutions, Venerable Religious Leaders, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Your Excellency, Mr. President, thank you for coming. And I'm so happy that uh, you are here because just this morning, while I was reaching my office, my attention was drawn to a trending criticism by the familiar voices of prophets of doom and gloom questioning why you should grace an event like this. To them, this is too ordinary an event for a head of state to grace. But Mr. President, we are happy that you are here because it is your government that lifted the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation, GPPC, from its near state of collapse when you took over in 2017. Your Excellency, when you became President of the Republic of the Gambia in 2017, February to be precise, GPPC was on life support, finding it extremely difficult to meet its basic obligations. But thanks to your leadership, Cabinet came up with a number of directives to revive the institution. Today, 
we are inaugurating a new printing machine with capacity to print more than 20,000 exercise books per hour. <laughs> Mr. President, we are happy you are here because this machine, when optimally used, is expected to generate between 700 million and 1 billion dollars of revenue for an institution which was already in coma in 2017. <laughs> Mr. President, we are here and we are very happy because from today, Gambian authors will have their books printed locally at a much cheaper price thanks to this printing press that you are going to inaugurate shortly. And let me tell you, Mr. President, that already the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education and the Conference of Principals in the Gambia have signed an MOU with the Gambia Publishing and Printing Corporation contracting the GPPC to print textbooks for all the upper basic schools in the Gambia. Your Excellency, these books written and authored by Gambians whose works will from now on be taught in our Gambian schools. That is why we are happy that you are here with us, Mr. President. For your information, the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education has already approved the first payment of $20 million to the GPPC representing I'm sure the staff are happy with this, Mr. President, because some time ago, before, we, before you took over, salaries were not even paid on time. <laughs> and, and, and this first payment of $20 million represents the work of uh, 19 Gambian authors whose books will now be distributed to Gambian high schools and senior secondary schools for them to be taught in the schools. <laughs> Works of other 40 more Gambian authors are being reviewed by the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education for the GPPC to print their books in the Gambia, not in other countries as it used to be. <clears throat> Partnership between the GPPC the Ministry of Basic Education, and the Conference of Principals is expected to fake the GPPC more than $100 million annually. <laughs> Mr. President, you will be interested to note that uh, until this day, Gambia used to spend nothing less than $4 million annually on exercise books that used to be sent outside for outside printers to print for our country. That is why, Mr. President, we are happy for you to be here, because this is your achievement, the achievement of your government. Currently, the management of the GPPC is discussing with importers of exercise books to have their supplies directly from the corporation. This will solely reduce significantly the import bill, particularly as they relate to exercise books. Through this, government is creating more jobs and pushing more Gambians on the middle class ladder. But more importantly, Your Excellency, my ministry has already tasked the management and board of the GPPC on the next big task, which is to fully digitize the entire workflow of the cooperation as part of efforts to print our national passports our national ID cards, our bank cards, and our... And, and also our electoral materials here in the Gambia by the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. Thank you, Mr. President, for being here. Other opportunities that will be explored is to have a digital software 
that will link the GPPC with all the practicing lawyers in the Gambia so that lawyers can have their court records and cases digitally printed and stored and anytime they want to make references to cases, they would not have to go through the agonizing process of manually sorting out or looking for files. Mr. President, I guess even the lawyers are happy that you are here. Thank you, Mr. President, because through your government's policies and legislative support, we have now got, we have now not only revived the GPPC, we are making it resilient to be one of the biggest revenue-making public corporations of the Gambia. That is why it is great to have you here, Mr. President. This is indeed a great milestone. We thank you, the Cabinet, and the entire government for the support. God bless this government and the great people of the Gambia. Thank you once again, Mr. President, and we are happy and proud that you are able to make it here today to inaugurate a machine that will create endless opportunities for Gambians. Development in continuum. God bless you, Mr. President. We are happy you are here. Thank you. That was Ibrahim who just left the podium, uh, he said so many interesting things. Uh, that when the CSP Sonko government came, in, came to power in 2017, am dead. the GPPC was CSP a state of collapse and President Baro uh, Gambia Amna Bopam. I believe independence so the podium, also uh, requires self-reliance. And today's occasion advocates Arunab. very much for that. CSP Sonko will give you a minute. Lige Jotna Gambia Amna Bopam. And the police ban as ambience is some a bit of ambience is being added on to the occasion by the police ban. You can hear the background. That's a sound from them. And right in front is you could see them seated in the screen. Those, that's the police ban. Uh ginger in the the garden a bit. So let's and that's the president. And right on this immediate right is the, the the Director General of GPPC, and on his left is the Minister of uh, Information, Ibrahim Asila, back on the screen, and as uh, honorable, a couple of ministers there, as uh, you have next, Noah, that's the Cabinet mini cabinet Secretary, that's Noah, Secretary to Cabinet, Noah, Noah Toure, you have James Gomez, the Minister for Fisheries, you have the Minister for Gender, Women, and Social Welfare, we may gender minister for gender, children, and social welfare as uh, Honorable Father King. That's Honorable Father King. And you are next to her, you have uh, uh, Hamad Ba, the minister for tourism. In the screen is Ami Fabure, the minister for agriculture. Uh, a cup, the, the cabinet is heavily represented at the, the occasion, this lunch. You are once again reminded that you are watching the. the Launch of thank you, the thank GPPC's you very much. CSP exercise book printing machine called Biomatic P5. Thank you. It's a, yeah, it's a proud moment. GPPC annex on the MDI and within the uh, University of the Gambia Complex. Uh, the faculty. Back on the podium is the Arunat to Rame. That's the, the master of ceremony. Of ceremony. Uh, I am always obligated in ceremonies of this nature to introduce him. In other quarters, we are not so good friends and he knows where I'm talking from. The next speaker is His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. My Thank boss, you. the Minister of Information and next Communication, you take the podium, his, uh, his Excellency has highlighted President Adam Baro. how you he see and him. his government has brought Going the to the podium to make his forward. address. Your Excellency, sir. That's His Excellency in a white gown. Waving his right hand, the crowd behind, just a little bit before the podium. As the president, some arrangements have been made for him to take the podium and then address the gathering. Then comes the lunch, the cutting of the ribbon. 
uh, to mark the official launch of the inauguration of the, the P5 Velomatic machine, printing machine, exercise book printing machine, which has the capacity to print 18,000 4P exercise books in an hour and 22,000 five ops exercise books in an hour. Four ops and five ops. 18,000 four ops and 22,000 five ops. That's the president. Let's hear what he will say. Honorable ministers, senior government officials, head of institutions and service chiefs, the board management and staff of the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation, religious and traditional leaders, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to commission a multi-million dollar machine for the production of quality and affordable exercise books in the country. It is indeed a source of delight and honor to register the event as an other milestone achievement for my government. The accomplishment of this Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation GPPC project is a huge development as it borders on board education and information communication technology, ICT. For obvious reasons, ICT is one of the critical enablers in the National Development Plan 2018-2021 for the realization of equitable access to basic services within the context of good governance and accountability. The exercise book production machine being commissioned today is worth about $50 million. It has come at a time when the impact of COVID-19 pandemic has brought about considerable delays in procuring goods and services from abroad. Consequently, having such a facility in the country will greatly help henceforth to guarantee timely provision of exercise book for our schools. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, by virtue of its mandate, the GPPC is entrusted with the responsibility of providing efficient printing, printing production services on a commercial basis for and on behalf of the government. The public enterprises, non-governmental organizations, and the general public. Their mandate embraces printing, publishing, distributing, and marketing books and other literary materials. Hence, the justification for investing heavily in this project. As you are all aware, and as spelled out in the NDP, access to affordable, quality education for every Gambian is key priority of my government. In this light, the procurement of the giant mass printing machine to meet the country's demand for exercise books clearly demonstrates my government's unwavering commitment to affordable and quality education for all. The new machine has the capacity to print 20,000 exercise books per hour, which is quite remarkable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, cognizant of the crucial role of GPPC in national development, 
especially as regards maximizing revenue collection and securing government receipt books. In January 2018, cabinet granted exclusive rights to GPPC to print all government revenue materials. <laughs> Apart from enhancing the security of revenue materials, the installed production machine will facilitate the auditing of public enterprises and increased revenue collection. This development should reassure every one of my government's determination to generate and protect the much needed revenue to fund our national development projects. <laughs> On a similar development, through the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, government has granted approval for GPPC to print the educational supplementary textbooks written by the Gambia Writers Association and approved by the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education for use in Gambian schools. One of the benefits of this initiative is the timely provision of quality, affordable, and reliable educational materials to school for effective teaching and learning. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, investing handsomely in facilities that impact positively on the lives of the Gambian people is commendable and worthy of celebration. However, managing them to achieve the desired results has been a daunting challenge. <laughs> to address this, I implore the board and management and staff of GPPC to ensure proper management and maintenance of the machine. We use it maximally within its expected lifespan and allow it to generate revenue for investment in other critical areas. In this way, it will help boost the financial status of GPPC and make it a thriving and dividend-paying public entity in a growing private sector environment. Attending this requires commitment, dedication, and team work. I call upon all Gambians, businesses and institutions, both public and private, to support GPPC to maximally utilize this remarkable book production machine. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of government and the Gambian people, I extend our sincere gratitude to the board of directors, staff and management of GPPC, as well as the Ministry of Information and Communication Infrastructure for this laudable achievement. Congratulations, Honorable Minister. Be rest assured that my government will continue to support GPPC and by extension the ICT sector in the quest to transform the country into a digital nation. I now declare the exercise book production machine officially commissioned, and I thank you. Yes, uh, that's President Adam Abaro, who has just concluded his uh, rima. And he officially launched the exercise book printing machine. That means the machine from today will be effective or will be up running for the printing of exercise books. And the president has assured GPPC of his government's support. He also said the availability of this machine will go a long way in enforcing and guaranteeing the type of exercise books needed at our schools. He describes the purchase of the machine as a huge development and boost because of it is bordered much on education and ICT, and ICT being a key 
part of his development project. Uh, back to the podium is uh, Haruna Drame, uh, the master of ceremony. Just before we hand back to the, the master of ceremony, Your the Excellency machine cost $50 million. Dollars and uh, and uh, the General president Office. is now working on the report, working towards Was so the cutting of the ribbon followed by GPPC officials and then cabinet minister, that's Lamin Diba, behind the minister for environment. They're all following the president, they're now walking, that's the ribbon. The cutting of the ribbon will officially mark the inauguration of the, the 50p. That's the 5P Bellomatic exercise book printing machine. President goes, he cuts the first part, and about to cut, cuts the second part, and he cuts again. The ribbon is being held by the Minister of Information, Ibrahim Asila, and the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Welfare, Fatu Kinte. President continues cutting, he, he cuts again. And he hands it to the Minister for Gender, Fatu Kinte. He cuts again and hands it to the Minister for Tourism, Hamad Nkeba. That marks the official launch or the inauguration of the Bilomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine, costing $50 million by Gambia Publishing and Printing Cooperation, GPPC. And he now draws the, the coating covering the plaque. That's the President. And the machine has now been launched. It is expected that the machine in operation can print up to 18,000 exercise books, four ops, and 22,000 exercise books, five ops. It is also expected to address the exercise book needs of the Gambia and also guarantee the type of exercise books needed at our school. Now he's been led into the complex, which is housing the machine. See him walking, running his eyes from the left to the right, and he's accompanied by Mamad Sise as the Director General of Gambia Printing, Publishing and Printing Cooperation, flanked by, on the left by Minister Silla, that's Ibrahim Silla. He's talking to the President, probably telling him what the machines, some issues about the machine, that's the the entourage of the president following him into the complex housing the machine. You reminded that you are following live updates of the printing of the inauguration of the printing machine, exercise book printing machine by GPPC here on Kerfatu. The launch is being done at the GPP annex within the University of the Gambia Law Faculty Complex. Uh, that's the president. Uh, has some things on his ears. ears. Then the machine what was started so he has covered his ears he himself the minister of gender women gender children and social welfare has also covered his ears and minister of tourism also although ibrahim Asila didn't so we're waiting to see this the starting of the machine this is the machine purchased by the gambia publishing and printing corporation G GPPC at the cost of 50 million. It is called 5P Biomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. It has the capacity to print 18,000 exercise books. Ops, that's another type of books, and also 22,000 five ops in a duration of 60 minutes. That's the machine. See the engineers. GPPC DG still leading the president and his entourage. That's the machine, green in color. So you have some printing taking place. That's it. It's after it. It's commissioning. It's now in. In operation, see it's printing some content. Yes, sir. You are watching the live coverage of the launch, or if you like, the commissioning of the Bilomatic 
P5 exercise book printing machine by the Gambia Publishing and Printing Corporation, that's GPPC, at its complex on MDI within the University of the Gambia Law Faculty campus. So that's the machine. The president has launched the machine. He's now been taken on a conducted tour of the machine. That's the facility housing the machine on MDI at the UTG faculty, where the GPPC annex is situated. See the president in taking on a conducted tour of the machine. This is a huge machine, uh, has the capacity to print 18,000 exercise books and also 22,000 exercise books. You have the four ops exercise books, 18,000 and five ops, 22,000 rather, within one hour. It is expected to address the exercise book needs of the Republic of the Gambia. That's the president uh, being talked to by, is also talking to the Pature. director general of uh, GPPC, on the CC, and Ibrahim Asila is also nodding, seeming agreement with what the president is also responding. So there is a bit of conversation between the GPPC boss and the president, and Ibrahim Asila sort of a witness is nodding in agreement. That's it. You are reminded that you are watching the Kerfat Live. We ride at uh, MDI Road, GPPC Annex at the University of the Gambia, launching, witnessing the launch of the, the machine, the state of earth facility, a state of earth machine purchased by GPPC at $50 million, meant for the printing of exercise books. It is being commissioned by the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, attended by cabinet ministers, a lot of cabinet ministers, uh, religious leaders, you have the media. We also have uh, staff of GPPC, uh, security, or you have uh, security chiefs, and a host of dignitaries. Diplomatic corps are also present, and Councillor. So that's the, the room or housing the machine. The president is uh, touring the place. He's and, uh, led by the GPPC boss, he's leading the tour. That's the machine. And um, just to remind you, this event is being organized by Kerfatu. Kerfatu also has an event organizing organ for your event organizations. At the cheaper course, you can contact Kerfatu for that. So you could see we are many in one. We have a marketing component, we have an event organizing component, and we also have a media arm. You could see. So back to the lunch. That's the Honorable Minister of. Uh, Tourism, it's also part of the entourage. So we have, uh, it's... A lot of dignitaries here witnessing this. One thing interesting about this is that it's... The Minister of Information said... Uh, the availability of this machine is going to make the printing of Gambian books authored by Gambians very cheap for them or cheaper than elsewhere. So if that is implemented as said, that's a good news for Gambian authors. See the machine in, in operation, that's the various parts of the machine. Yeah. So that's it. Show you the inspection of the machine has completed. You know the president. Uh, it is entourage are almost done. See them. Let's see, are almost done. It's what's still in the building. That's the, the different parts of the machine. That's a sort of a paper rolling. Sort of rolling. Still have him observing, the president observing as the machine prints.
Kenyo. Ndeisan, di gerem protokol siap. Nga hamne anda nyo presiden baro. Nyom lena gerem ubah. Nyom protokol ude nyom ude sisi. Sen liga irfetna nyom bintja protokol. Nyom alaji pati protokol. Protokol siap nyom lena gerem ude sisi. Sen liga irfetna setah way bah nasi presiden baro. Halal busal loh setewar ngamu na bokak nyinyi benandap. Wah Musa abah pulau Jerry, ardo borom nak dia borom sowi. Musa abah jisun kula makwai jisun kula gen. Yo do bus dom ada ma do danda dom ada ma. Yangi anda presiden baru temenik. Bokulo agmom tefek ada ga boka agmom. Jerejef Musa abah, abah pulau Jerry. Halal busar loh sete warga muna boka ni ni benanda. Salo hasil nama tak presiden baru Johor Bopam Jerejef Musa ba kontan neng buba ha ba ha ba ha ba ana udah sisi sisi ngan aman di mori jangan ngan aman di mori borong perete ana binca nisan His Excellency mengewur di set nyom Musa Fati State House nyom lena gerem nyom siaka jata Nyom alkali konte Presiden Barongi Wur Mge Hol Masin Bi Jereje Presiden Barong Gacangala Mahis Excellency Salige Refetna Soduge Bir Banjul Tehi Ganawiyala Akyonan Teba Presiden Barong Motahwa Banjul Demo Tela Hamun Lu Tela Tela Dina Nyeka Sel Keri Neka simbeda bi, be aini tu watu tadi nikoyek, gajang galama presiden baru saligi irfetna. Rewi Gambia bena bapa lakian munuko harjar, Musa Bajerajev. Ami fambu renyung la gerem buba, borom agrikorto, cigen juman gorga anda ga ag presiden baru. Gambia be Gambia da dekabunya ka ami favorite chalo hote guna fa ngirja parembe kati jere jep ami favorite saligay refetna sata Hawaii bana deputy permanent secretary office of the president secretary general deputy permanent secretary general ture ture ngana mani mori nyung lagi rembu ba. Evan Fadi, Fadi Haidar Akarara, Maria Jailo, Yotam Suma Adinda, Nini Sun Hamudio, Hamgaman Hamna, Suma Wenga, Aruna Jami. You're still watching the, the live coverage of the printing of 5P Bilomotic Exercise Book Printing Machine at uh, the GPPC complex annex at uh, the MDI Road on University Campus. Uh, the machine is commissioned by the President, Adam Abaro. Uh, it is expected to address the exercise book needs of the country and as well as also address the, the printing and other publishing needs. Uh, it is also said at this occasion that Gambian authors will be printing here at a cheaper cost. They will be provided with a cheaper cost in terms of printing at this place. Aplai balik jere jenjep. Makopi wah nemu. So yes, the launch is still going on. 
that the president is still within the, the facility housing the Lord machine Lord on a tour. Uh, Your Excellency, you could see he's still moving with his entourage. Alberto Mbejibe Rol Mbala Kilo Blanco Albeker Fat Mbejibe Ka in Tembo Dum Bejang Ka Fodam to MDI Road. Ninata Gambia La Bunda Mbala Woleka Yel Maroko Niko Printing Al Printing Ke Masa Kunda Aning Bunda Kotemol Wole Masingo Sang Masingo Mea Longo Aka Printing Neke Aka Exercise Bukole Da. Nata be president on Nata Kole Jumbo Jam Valentin Jam Bole Jumbo Ka President on Nata Ka Daela Ko Bengo Nyinal. President Onyin Saez wondered if he was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to exercise the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. Amanda Wola Fonaiko, the machine was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. He was going to be able to get the same thing. Ibaja la wabu kula kuli mialongo la tamandro njing aba asoniendo le bulba kelo bidum biyango to moja malle bidam presidento na la la cabinet mall la mall malongo cabinet mall sainte ani membe dia mola wala mu niaji be membe presidento le dini kuko yodo membe tia maji wala mu mamo de sisi mamo de sisi atle ni GPPC ni bunda mialongo wala be masingo ni jura kambi wala atle mu le nyarongo di mamo du balaje membe me dini kuko me kuso du ika far le kuko Ibrahim Silla atle minister minister me marra Kivaro Bundala, Alem Ibrahim Ati, President of Valentine, ya samba mwenyeng kono la amuru muda masingo la kado kule mengine, science ng hansa yabo mwenyeng kono masingo kado kule mengine, ibo la fuga kasa samba masingo la dinkira lo kajiber ke masingo yenda, wale mo alnal badi malo Mustafa Sisi abe kirefar lo jibe kam bejang GPPC ila bunda mia longo wale be MDI MDI Kanifeng, University la campus, Walter Mbale ya Walter masingo yimba Walter, President utarap kono dola sain ni aje. Felenting abe finti kuhol do kibar bunda mol felenting iba finti ni kang ibela do gujoran ulin la do ba ulin la kaji tan di kaji ko pengine pengine kiri njia mol ya ya kalamu ro ya ya bwa kalama mbetendi la ola mbeja ila ola back to thank you very much that's the president has completed a tour of the the facility is on his way out you could see the media trying to show every detail of what is happening here kudos to them I have a protocol officer working. That's the president. He's now out of the, the facility. That's the housing the machine. That's the building housing the machine. He's out now walking out on the red carpet. Probably going out. Because he has already given his speech. That's the president. Walking back to his base. Uh, kindly allow only His Excellency the President and Cabinet yes, Ministers. Yes, that's it. After only His Excellency the President and Cabinet Ministers. He has conducted a tour allowed to go to the reception of the, the machine. The rest of and the invited guests, please be seated, and you'll be served at your seat, please. His president is also only heard. the President and Cabinet Ministers, please. The rest, please be seated. You'll be served at your seat. Yes. That's the president walking to a uh, peace building of the university. <laughs> After the lunch, he is now also entering into uh, other complexes of the university. That's him. And then you could see. That's the secretary to... Uh, so that's uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor and the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Governors and Professor Anjum. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that marks the end of the, our live coverage of the, print, the inauguration of the P5 Bilomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine on Cape Party today. And it, the Exercise Book Machine belongs to the Gambia Printing and Publishing Cooperation. Uh, thanks for the pleasure of your company, Aya Mustafa Sisi. Uh, many thanks to Aya Africa for the technical backup.
fire. Wow. Fire. I'm going to like, 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 I'm in case, just in case, just in case, skin care plus, see the other one, the other one, the other one, the other one, the the and when you skin care products like you can chew vitamin ah funa lañu jaar in fact sax last commercial bin defon wax ñu leen wona dañu dox ci ay kawar 9a grade rek nak wow we do have bundles as well hair ci do ne lañu dox ñu ñu ngi rafetal jigen rek luy taral jigen rek wow wo leen de tukki tamit bu ko nda classic suitcase ñu ngi dañu dox ci ay samsonite duñ de indi any brown of suitcases though other than samsonite comme lima de wax rek bo ege airport deuri samsonite dafa am nuñ la xolé wow ngene lan nak wow um skin ci mom lañu gëna xamé nak skin care products ci mom lañu gëna xamé ñu ñaan la ga ñaan alba ba ba tan cordon yo nga transfer la sto ya transfer la sto ha code ñi ci ok bor sa ñu ci la id soto la ha sa soto Sorry, I got it. Brilliant, bro. Alba. Kodo sifa sifa fok falindiro fanya di lafta meme na kodi topoto ni kodi mara o jamu number one di nyonda anum fana nata anoda enterprise sotali wala wala mnyindi ko domoro fana ngol fana be fira le le dadi ma ni domoro ni fana betiat gambia dau da ya longa kumfa kendo sotali di ha e wamo e wadi ha apelenda ma 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 lafta nyela kendo le bina ya le buka ni la kuola abaraka ha ya londel chosa no lo abaraka. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve. When we touch down, but I broke down.
Yang mm. G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.